everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to be doing a compilation of some protein loaves that you guys highly 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 requested I should film. I'm super excited to film this one for you guys because I know you guys love my protein loaves and I love them also so it has been a great joy to be making all of these and eating them all at once as well. <laughs> I really do hope you guys enjoy this video, let me know if you do, sit back and relax and enjoy the video. Firstly, we're starting out with the apple crumble loaf and for this you'll need some almond milk with some apple puree, some oil, chia seeds, some baking powder and some cinnamon, loads of cinnamon. You'll need to mix it all together and add some protein powder, some flour and whisk that all up as well. For the crumble topping of the loaf, you'll need some oats mixed with cinnamon and some butter. Then you just want to add some syrup to that and whisk it all together until it forms the crumble. You then just want to place the batter in a baking tin lined with baking paper. And then you just want to place the crumble on top. I then sprinkled on some sweetener just to crispen up with a dash of cinnamon. If you couldn't already tell, I do love cinnamon. And then you'll pop it in the oven for around 35 to 40 minutes on 180C until cooked. Allow the loaf to cool down before you start to cut it and then enjoy. For the lemon drizzle poppy seed loaf, you'll just need some flour and then you just want to add some protein powder to that. I use the vanilla salted caramel flavour with a load of poppy seeds and some baking powder, some almond milk and some oil again. You'll then just need to squeeze one lemon into the bowl and then I also added some lemon zest to that also and whisk that all up. You'll then again need to place that all into a baking tin lined with baking paper. And then pop that in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes on 180C. I then made a lemon drizzle by adding icing sugar with some lemon juice. And I drizzled that on top of the loaf once cooled. And then topped it with some more lemon zest and some poppy seeds. I allowed the loaf to cool and then cut and ate and enjoyed it. For the Lotus Biscoff loaf, you'll just need the usual ingredients of flour, some protein powder, some chia seeds, some Biscoff spread and some almond milk. Sprinkled on with some baking powder and then you'll just need to whisk that all up. With the Biscoff spread, I melted that in the microwave for around 30 seconds for it to become liquid and then I popped that all into the baking tin lined with baking paper. Topped with some Biscoff biscuits, as well as some crumbled Biscoff biscuits, and then pop that in the oven for the usual timing and heat. For the carrot cake protein loaf, you'll need the usual ingredients, except we'll be adding a heck more load of cinnamon, as well as some chopped walnuts, some grated carrots, and then you just want to whisk that all together. You'll then need to get your baking tin lined with baking paper and pop the batter in there. 
Place that into the oven for around 35 to 40 minutes on 180C. And whilst it's cooking, you just want to make the cream cheese topping, which I use this Nush Cream Vegan Cheese. And then I mix that with some Napfia Living Sweetener. And once the loaf cooled down, I topped it with the cream cheese. and sprinkled on some extra grated carrots with some more cinnamon. So next up is the Oreo loaf and again the usual ingredients except for some cacao powder and some crushed Oreos. I used mini Oreos because that's all that I had but you could use any. I also added some chocolate chips into the batter and whisked that all up. And then topped it with some more mini Oreos because that's all that I had remaining in the house. I then popped that in the oven for the usual time and heat and then sliced up and enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching guys. Which one did we like the best or which one are we going to recreate first? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd really, really love to see your recreations on Instagram, whether that is through my DMs, whether that's through a stories or a post. I'd love that also. Let me know if you do. And also let me know if you like this video by giving me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see it more from me and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>